Oh, hey, what's up? All right, so time to get into chapter 13 and possibly to chapter 14 as well. I haven't decided. I don't know how long it's going to take me. Um, so, wow. Seriously, this book is fucking intense. I'm sorry for the language, okay? But look, this, this book is making me literally have out loud reactions. Like, you know, I don't usually, you know, make reactions when I read books, but when I read this, you know, I really start getting like, you know, I want to walk around. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just get really into this. Um, so when we left off, the wall of fire descends upon Katniss, the girl that was actually on fire, which I think is kind of funny. All right, so um, a quick recap of this whole chapter. Um, she's running from fire. Um, she finds she uh, she finds some place to stay, kind of, but um, she runs into uh, tributes, the career tributes, and she goes into a tree. That's the basic recap, but let's get into this in more detail. All right, so, you know, she starts off, she's running away, trying to get the hell out of there, and... Uh, you know, basically, she's as she's running away from the fire, something interesting happens is how it's, you know, the fire is clearly not an accident. It's definitely was intended by the game makers to happen. And it makes the games more interesting, which kind of makes sense because, I mean, it can't be that much fun watching people just kind of like camp out. Like, it, it may be kind of interesting, but I mean, to watch, you know, like weeks of that may be kind of intriguing. So, and I think they also kind of did the fire because Katniss was on fire. And they kind of want to show Katniss that, you know, hey, you're not really a hot shot after all. You know, like, literally. Um, so I thought that was pretty good. Um, so let me just get into this. Uh, and then, yeah, the there apparently were fireballs attacking Katniss because they were, like, rigged all over the forest, which is crazy that they didn't notice that. I mean, I guess it's understandable because Katniss was kind of, like, in disarray over the water thing. She wouldn't have time to pay attention to stuff like that. But it was kind of interesting that no one noticed the, the rigs that shoot fire, I mean. <laughs> it seems like it'd be easy to spot, but I guess not. So... Um... This is where... Okay, so yeah, that's all pretty interesting and stuff. You know, the rigged fireballs. It's really intense. But, you know, this had to happen. This next part, it just had to happen. Didn't it, Suzanne Collins? You just had to do this to me. You know, at first I was like, you know, this is so intense. And then you throw this shit in here. Now, I, I really wish I knew what Suzanne Collins was thinking. Because if I knew, then it would be okay. Like, I wonder if Suzanne Collins actually thinks Katniss is a good character. And and actually thinks that what she says, what she's about to say right now, is actually logical. Because if she truly believes that Katniss is about to say is logical, I I just feel I feel sorry for her. And now hold on, I'm not saying Suksan Collins is a bad person. Just it, it, just think about this. Second. I'm gonna go and show you, tell you what I'm talking about. So she says, I hear Cena's voice, uh, you know, in my head, and you know, talking about how. You know, she he basically was the one that probably started this. You know, he is the one that kind of put her on fire. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that kind of encouraged the game makers probably to do something like this. Although I would probably, ar probably argue that because it would seem to me like it would take months in preparation to do that. You know, to have all the rigs everywhere. It wouldn't just be like within three days that they could do that. Maybe they can. It is the future, so... But anyway, and so she's already concluded that's probably Cena, but then here's the thing that she does that pisses me the fuck off, okay? I'm sorry for the language. She says that, um, uh, I know he couldn't have foreseen this, uh, must be hurting for me because, in fact, I believe he cares about me. Maybe showing up, uh, okay, sorry, but the fact that she said that I believe he cares about me and she understands Cena's reaction and uh, she understands Cena's, you know, not out for her and whatever. It's like, okay, that what I'm saying, that is actually a logical thing. I mean, that is totally logical to think that, you know, like Cena probably does care about me, whatever. And that's probably true. Cena probably does care. The problem is it's inconsistent. And it doesn't make sense for her to think that. Because for her mom, you know, her mom was sad because, you know, her husband got killed and she hates him for it. It's weakness. 
uh, you know, she hates on the capital people because they're just part of the capital, even though they were born there. She just hates them. And she hates, uh, you know, PETA for, you know, caring about her all the time. And she hates people that are nice to her. Uh, she doesn't accept Gail all the way, well, until recently. And she does all these illogical things and she hates on all these people. But then somehow she can understand Cena. She can just understand. And Cena, and by the way, is fucking creepy. And the fact that she says, oh, yeah, he's not looking at me like a piece of meat. He actually cares about me. He was doing exactly that. He was looking at you like you're a piece of meat. He was staring you down like a piece of freaking meat and designing you the way he thought. He wants to have human beings be bare naked in front of him, and he wants to see the true nature of human beings, something like that. You know, I, I think that it's just weird to me that Katniss is just like, oh, yeah, I understand his. I understand him. He's my friend. We're best pals. W what? W what happened? What, how did that happen? You know, it, there's, no, there's no logical connection to why she likes him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't make sense for her to all of a sudden be logical about Cena. But all of a sudden, you know, she hates on Peter, hates on her mom, hates on all these things. You know, it, it just doesn't, it's not consistent. If she, if, if, I'm not saying that Cena is, like, what she's saying about Cena is wrong. I'm saying that that's probably true, but, God, it just pisses me off, you know? Like, does, does anyone else see these inconsistencies, or am I, am I just seeing shit? Okay. Um... And I learned that this is kind of obvious. I was kind of reading in. The game makers don't want to really kill Katniss. So she, to me, at the time, I would be kind of not worried about getting hit with a fireball. Because I don't think they would. the capital people would be happy about Katniss being killed with by the game makers. Because it's like, hey, you know, we really like this girl Katniss. And the fact that you just killed her off kind of pisses us off. So I think they, they're just kind of trying to scare her. But, you know, whatever. Um, so I wonder if actually the capital people would be cheering her on. Um, so yeah, let's see here. And then we learned about Prim a little bit, and how Prim's actually, uh, pretty cool. She, she's scared of her own shadow. Basically, she's, like, really scared of her in general. She's really, like, freaked out about a lot of things, but she actually stayed and helped some dude who got hurt, um, even though it probably scared her herself. So she's actually a very self-sacrificing person. Um... And it's funny, her mom says that healers are born, not made. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so then, let's get into another thing that happens later. Uh, let's get into the very exciting moment. Um, she's basically just kind of chilling, right? And then the careers out of nowhere just bust out, running across the water, coming to go kill her. And she's hauling ass. And they're catching up pretty quick. She is pretty fast because of her size, but I mean, like, she can only run for so long. And she just climbs up a tree right away and just call. She remembers Gail telling uh, her to, her best bet just to go up in the tree because of whatever. And she does that. I think that's kind of cool. I, I kind of was hoping she would do that because she always talked about going up in trees and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, a really badass moment happens. Um, they're all like looking up at her like they want to kill her and everything. Uh, but there's another thing that happens that PETA actually doesn't look at um, uh, Katniss in this way. He's the only one that kind of looks away. Um, he, he doesn't. He, he kind of just doesn't want to meet her gaze. Uh, so I think that kind of shows that he's not out to kill her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, that's just my thoughts. But, um, and I think it's kind of funny how she climbs within the tree. She realizes they're not going to be able to chase, uh, uh, chase her. And she starts being a smart ass. She's like, oh, yeah. Um, how's everything with you? You know, talking down there, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, well, enough yourself. And he's, she's like, oh, yeah, it's a bit warm up here. <laughs> that was really funny. That's hilarious. Uh, and then he, and then she was like, yeah, the air is better up here. Why don't you come up? And then the guy's like, oh, I think I will. And then uh, he, he epically fails. I mean, he's too big to climb a tree. And we learned that the guy, the monstrous guy, the boy, uh, from District 2, his name is Kato. So clearly Katniss wants to kill this guy simply because in his name, the three-letter word that she hates so much is in there. It's Cat. Mm -hmm, that's right. I'm seeing the connection now. And it even says later that she really wants to kill this guy, um, you know, because some reason. I'll, I'll probably read read it later. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, I think the reason why he wanted to uh, kill him is because of 
the predicament. I can't remember why, but either way, it happens in the next chapter. Anyway, so I think it's kind of hilarious how a cat, Cato, is, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I like puns. I can't help it. Um. So anyway, so he's the one that kind of uses a sword that we saw in the trailer. So I think the one that we see in the trailer is using a spear is the is uh, Kato. Um, and then Glimmer is a person that um, is from District 1. That was her name um, as we learned about her. And then it's funny that she makes fun of uh, their names, even though her name's really not like you know, anything special either. Well, it, it's good for her character, but I mean, Katniss is basically like a mud plant, you know, and she, I think she's just jealous. Maybe not, I'm just joking. Um, So, and then the last thing we see in this chapter is that, you know, she's up there and, you know, she realizes that, you know, they, she, he, she can't stay up there forever. Eventually, she's going to have to come down and get food, get water, you know, do something. She can't just stay up there forever. So they could easily just stay down there, camp out, and wait for her to basically fall. And that would be it. And so she's kind of seeing that, and she's like, oh, maybe I can, like, sneak off while they're sleeping or something, but... And then she meets uh, the gaze of Rue uh, and the, and across the tree, just stalking her. And it's kind of... I kind of knew that Rue was probably going to follow people around because, you know, she was always peeking at Katniss and while she was training, and I'm sure she did that for other tributes, so maybe she was actually trying to figure out what they do and stuff. So, yeah, um... Yes, that is the chapter. And... The thing is, um, I uh, really like how in this chapter that everything is just so, the words and how everything goes together is just so thought out. Like, every single sentence tells you something more and it's not just pointless detail. Ah, oh, I just love her little inner battle with herself. You know, you really feel like you're in Katniss's position right now. Like, ah, oh, it's just so good that, um, the way that this was written. God, I, I just wish that I didn't... Uh, listen, I'm sorry. I'm just having an orgasm over here. Um, so I will quickly, actually... I'll, I'll do this as a separate video, but I'm going to actually do chapter 14 now because um, I don't see why not. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I, I read up to chapter 15. Um, so I, I, I've read chapter 15, so I want to get all these reviews up to chapter 15 so I, so I can put a review up that's not biased like i said i knew about the kato thing that's like from chapter 14 why she hates him or something like that so i, I want to kind of make a review that's not have like a bias thing so i wouldn't say something like oh well, my prediction is this even though i've already read it so anyway yeah this is pretty much it i'm um, just kind of ranting on about random things i want to say one thing i want to point out before i go is um the grammar i was talking about and the things that aren't like the words she chooses um like she says i retch until there's nothing left to come out and I'm like, she could have just said puking. I'm not sure exactly what retching is, but I think it's like puking or like gasping for air or something like that. So I don't understand why she used words like that. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, authors got to use words, but I just never understood about using words that no one's ever heard before because it's like, okay, well, let me get my dictionary. I mean, it's whatever. I mean, it's not a bad thing about Suzanne Collins at all. I just, that's just something I disagree. It's definitely just an opinion. So anyway, that was chapter 13. It was a very sh short chapter in a sense only because it goes by so fast. It really wasn't as short. I mean, I've done 30-minute videos about chapters that were 10 pages. Um, but this one's, you know, you know, even more pages. But it's just because it just goes by so fast because you were reading it. So that's why I couldn't stop myself from reading. Anyway, I'm, I'm done ranting about pointless shit. This video should have ended like five minutes ago. Goodbye.